Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Actors now include intellectuals, professors, doctorate degree holders, and others who find a passion to get on stage or on screen. These are Yoruba actors and actresses who gave up fame to become lecturers. The first person, Peter Fato Milola. Peter Fato Milola is a Yoruba Nigerian dramatist, film actor, poet, and a prolific playwright. The actor is known for his unique knowledge of herbs and the Yoruba tradition. Peter Fato Milola often plays the role of herbalist or Ifa priest in movies, and once he revealed in an interview that these roles actually mirror who he is in reality. Peter Fato Milola, this veteran, was born on 16th of January in 1946. He was born in AKT as the only child of his mother. His background as a son of an Ifa priest has influenced a lot of his Nollywood roles. This veteran, Peter Fatou Milola, attended Ife City Commercial College in Ile Ife. The actor revealed that he was so interested in learning about Ife that he almost forgot about his formal education. It was his mother's persistence that actually enabled him to get educated formally. The actor revealed that his love for books was ignited when he started attending church with his mother. It was during his secondary school days that he met Olaro Timi. He was a permanent member of the Ife City Dramatic Society. The actor played the lead role in the drama Oro Ikoko. After his secondary school, he joined the late Professor Olaro Timi in the year 1967. It was the professor that advised him to study drama at the university. The veteran actor revealed that his mother was unhappy about his decision to focus on acting, but when she discovered that the theatre he was involved in was a befitting profession, she eventually prayed for him and allowed him to continue with his dream. She was pleased to see him become a reputable theatre practitioner and she eventually died a happy mother in the year 2014. Peter Fatum Lola joined the Olokun Theatre Group in 1967. He revealed that he was also trained under Professor Wale Shoinka for 10 years. And he also learned some aspect of Yoruba oral literature from Professor Wande Abimbola. This actor was a member of the academic staff of Obafemi Oluwe University, where he received a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Theatre Arts in 1978. Fatou Milala was the first ever Papa Ajasko in the comedy movie produced by Wale Adenuga. Also, he featured in the movie Shongo, which was an epic African film, scripted by Wale Oguyemi in the year 1997. Peter Fatou Milola has featured in movies including Living in Bondage, Shongo, Sharoride, Osofia in London, Aruba, Maami, Omelemosho, and Ilu, just to mention a few. Peter Fatou Milola became a dramatic art instructor at the Obafemi Lawolowo University. Though he's retired now, he still gets invitations to come and lecture at the university. The second person, Sholafo Sudo, Sholafo Sudo is a consummate actor, dramatist, theatre director, scholar, critic, and the head of the Department of Theatre Arts and Music at the Lagos State University in Ojo, Lagos State. Sholafo Sudo had actually produced four videos before he became a university lecturer. He saw the advert and applied to Lasso. He passed the interviews and was employed. But when he joined Lasso in the year 1994, some people thought he was very unserious and insane. He was already earning about 150,000 euros to appear in movies. And he had featured in a lot of popular movies back then. However, when he joined Lasso as a lecturer, his salary was 5,000 naira in the year 1994. A few years after joining Lasso, he was instrumental to the establishment of the Theatre Arts Department. He joined the English Language Department. But he later applied to the Department of Theatre Arts, We started in the year 2001. Shalafo Sudo is a versatile artist who has registered his mark on stage and on screen. He has featured in movies such as True Confession, Glamour Girls 1, Ritual, Strange Ordeal, Yawa Laji, and Family on Fire, just to mention a few. Shalafo Sudo was a popular actor in the 90s. Shalafo Sudo was born on March 18, 1958. He is an Ijebu man from Epe in Lagos State. He started his acting in his primary school and secondary school days. He was trained as a dramatist at Obafemi Awolowo University and University of Ibadan, where he obtained a Master of Arts degree in drama. Sholafo Sudo started acting long before the development of Nollywood. He acted in several soaps and he was part of the Sound of Destiny in the year 1980. There were several other films he starred in including The Third Eye for NTA Ripples, and several others. Sholafo Sudo is a senior lecturer and the head of the department at Lagos State University, the Department of Theatre, Arts and Music.
He was also once the director of press and public relations unit at the same university. The third person is Ayo Akinwale. Professor Ayo Akinwale is an actor and a movie producer. He has featured in several home videos. He is the current dean of Faculty of Art at the University of Illori. He was one of the early 50s to the royal household of Pa Akinwale in the ancient city of Ibadan. He began his education at the St. Luke's Demonstration School at Molete in Ibadan in Oyo State and then he proceeded to Methodist High School also in Ibadan where he was introduced to theatre art. In the year 1966, he acted in the movie titled Obojo Odeninu Ibo Irumole produced by one of his teachers and then he moved to Molusi College in Ijebu Ibo where he obtained a senior school living certificate. He began his academic career as a science teacher and a drama coordinator at Ilora Grammar School where he performed in a theater play titled Be Yoshi. His love for theater made him change his field of study from sciences to arts. Professor Akiwale gained admission to the University of Ibadan, where he performed at international theater festivals under the leadership of Professor Ade Lugba. He was a household name in the late 70s when he featured in many TV plays and dramas. He gained employment at BCOS, the Broadcasting Corporation of Oyo State, in the 80s and later moved to the Ibadan Polytechnic Iwe campus from where he was appointed the head of the department of the performing arts at the University of Illori in 1985. A seasoned actor with a fantastic Yoruba accent, his spoken English is also impeccable. He featured in quite a number of movies as an actor and producer. He has produced many own videos in Nigeria. He featured in movies such as Shongo, Clash of the Gods in Russia, J and Etiqueta, just to mention a few. Professor Akinwale is a recipient of many honors and awards, including Best Indigenous Actor Award at the Fourth African Movie Academy Awards, and he has remained prominent on issues regarding arts in Nigeria. The next person is Kola Oyewo. Kola Oyewo attended Obafemi Awolowo University, where he obtained a certificate in dramatic arts, a certificate in Yoruba and literature before he later received a Bachelor of Arts degree in theatre arts from the same university in 1995. He proceeded to the University of Ibadan, where he received a Master of Arts and Doctorate degree in drama. Kola Oyewo was an actor before he became a lecturer. He started his acting career with the Onyi Ade Jobi Theatre Group in Ushobo. Ocean State. It was one of the popular Yoruba traveling theatre groups. At the time, he was there for about nine years from 1964 to 1973. In 1973, he joined the University of Ife, now Bafemi Awolowo University, theatre, at the Oriolo Cultural Studies under Professor Larutin. They later moved into the campus and the theatre group changed its name along with the university and became Awoversity Theatre. Kola Oyewo became very popular after his role in the movie Koshebe, where he played the role of the incorruptible custom boss. Kola Oyewo was one of the City People Movie Special Recognition Awards, Oshun State Merit Award, Theatre Legacy Award, Real Award for Best Actor of the Year, and Tema Award for Best Actor of the Year, just to mention a few. The next person is Jokemu Iwa. Jokemu Iwa is a veteran actress and the former head of department performing at the Olambisi Onobanjo University in Nagoya, Yogo State, where she is currently a lecturer. She won the fifth of Best Hollywood Awards for the Lijo in the movie titled Ayitale, produced and directed by Femi Adebayo. The last person is Afizo Yeteru, whose stage name is Saka. He's a Yoruba Nigerian comic actor popularly known in the Yoruba movie industry. Afizo Iteru was born on August 20, 1963 in the same local government area of Oyo State. Saka is one of the most celebrated Nigerian actors as a result of his contribution to the growth of Nigerian movie industry. This family man is very funny, versatile, stylish, gifted, creative, skillful, and talented in acting and his ability to interpret any movie role is being given. He had his primary and secondary school education at his saying in Oyo State and he obtained both his first school living certificate and West African Senior School Certificates before he proceeded to bag a Bachelor and Master of Arts degree in Theatre Arts from Obafemi Lawolowo University and University of Ibadan respectively. He also holds a doctorate degree from the prestigious University of Ibadan. Sakai is currently a lecturer in the Department of Theatre Arts at Adeniro Ogusoya College of Education. 
in Lagos State, Nigeria. We have come to the end of the episode on Yoruba actors and actresses. You never knew give up fame to be lecturers. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.